when one shark attacks, it seems everyone takes notice. And when 10 people are attacked, people get scared. So far this year, 10 people have been bitten off the coasts of North and South Carolinas. That's higher than the average of six per year for the two states. The latest attack happening yesterday in North Carolina, where a man in his late 60s was bitten on his torso, leg, and hands. CNN's Alina Machado is in Wrightsville Beach, North Carolina. Uh, so let's just start with the most recent victim. I, I'm always astounded to hear that he was in waist deep water and could not see it coming, did not see it coming. Thank God he survived, but how is he? But last check, uh, Ashley, he was recovering at the hospital. He's a 67 year old man. He's from Massachusetts and he was in North Carolina vacationing with his family when the attack happened. Uh, you know, authorities tell me that when first responders got to him, he was alert. He was talking to them. Uh, he seemed to be in pretty good spirits considering what had just happened to him. Uh, he did suffer severe puncture wounds in an area between his thigh and his knee, and he also had bites to his calf. Now this attack which happened in the Outer Banks, which is north of where we are, is the seventh to happen off the North Carolina coast this year. Uh, the victims of the other attacks include a 13 year old girl and a 16 year old boy. Uh, each of them lost an arm in separate uh, incidences, some 90 minutes apart in an area that's south of here on June 14th. Uh, bites have also been reported in South Carolina and also in Florida, Ashley.